Hello and Grüß Gott. Today we're going to replace the spark plugs on this Toyota 2.7 liter engine. It's a four cylinder and they go through the top of the engine uh, timing cover here. So we're going to do that. To do it, you're going to need some new spark plugs. You're going to need a torque wrench, an extension, a uh, 5 8 inch spark plug tool, and a spark plug gapping tool because these spark plugs come from NGK at 0.044 and we're going to set them to 0.032 and I always like to use one of these magnetic tools to pull the old spark plugs out um, it makes it easier uh, than trying to try to reach down in there and get something out so this will come in very handy as you'll see and we also have some connector grease dielectric grease um, they recommend trying to use some anti-seize compound on the spark plug when you install it in the problem is that changes the torque setting, and I change my plugs fairly often, so I'm not planning to use any anti-seize grease on this. I'm going to do them dry, and so we'll torque them into the Toyota spec that's in the manual. So um, to get started here, what I'm going to do is I actually disconnected the spark plug wire from the coil over here, and on a Toyota to do that, you have to pull up on this piece, and then this will come up and then you can carefully remove this. I disconnected it from these um, channeling pieces here and then I'm going to simply pull it up and off the spark plug and then I'll remove the plug. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and I'll be right back. I'm ready to remove the first spark plug. So I have an extension. I have the 5 8 inch spark plug socket down in there. I have it seated on the spark plug and I'm simply just going to break it loose and it comes loose quite easily although it does make a little squeaking noise but it should come out nice and smooth um, I also wanted to mention you should wear safety glasses while you're working just so you don't get something in your eyes and cause eye damage so I'm going to get this completely loose at this point I can turn it by hand And then once I have it loose, I'm going to use the magnetic tool to pull it out because it's pretty unlikely that it's going to come out with this tool. Now, another trick you can do if you don't have a magnetic tool is, let's see, let's see it didn't come out. You can put a piece of tape um, or a piece of paper in here so that when you press it down, it kind of makes a tight fit over the spark plug. And then you can pull it out very gently that way. So what I'm going to do now is take my magnetic tool and it should uh, reach down in there and should pull that right out. Let's see. And there we go. It's that simple. So I'm going to gap the new plug and put it in there. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, I checked the gap of the first spark plug I'm going to put in. And it actually came from NGK at 0.030. It needs to be 0.032. You're supposed to be able to use this little tool here to put on the electrode piece here and bend it. but it, it's Chinese and it, it's a piece of crap. It doesn't work. I hope the gauge sizes are good because uh, I'm depending on them. So um, it was at 0 0.30. I've now gapped it to 0 0.032. And to do that, I had to use a pair of um, really good uh, diagonal, I mean, uh, pliers here. So I did that. I was very careful. I reached right in here and just barely moved it out a little bit to open it up so right now <clears throat> according to this gauge set it's measuring at 0.032 it barely goes in there so that's good we're ready to install the plug so to do that there's a couple of different ways first of all when you install a plug you only want to use your fingers to thread it in because if you cross thread it It'll damage the head. It causes a lot of problems. You have to put a helicoil in. So on this one, I, again, I'm going to put it in dry. And um, what I can do here is I can put it into this tool and it won't stay. So I'll need to put some paper in here or some tape to hold it into place. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I put a piece of paper in here. It's doubled over so that this is held in just good enough to where it won't fall out. 
So I'm going to carefully go over here and carefully go down. I don't want to hit the electrode down in there. And then I'm going to try to get it started by hand. And I can feel it's definitely going in. So no problems there. So I'm just going to screw it in until it's hand tight. And then I'll come back and torque it in. Okay, here's an alternate method you can do to secure the spark plug in there. We took some painter's tape and put it and pushed it in there. The reason I did that is because normally I used to use paper, but these are so deep when you pull it out, you leave paper behind. And in order to retrieve that, you have to use a little grabbing hook, something like this, which um, works well. But it's just much easier if you use this alternate method of putting some painter's tape on here and then uh, putting it down in there. And then this comes right out and leaves the plug behind. So now I'm ready to torque it down and according to the Toyota manual it should be about 14 foot-pounds of torque or 20 Newton meters so I have my Newton meter wrench I'm gonna get one small extension to put on here to raise that up and then I'm gonna torque it down so I'll be right back okay I'm gonna go ahead and torque this down to 20 Newton meters and that's the dry thread value again about 14 foot-pounds so if you lubricate the threads it's gonna be a much lower setting I think NGK says to finger tighten it and then a half turn. Okay, there's 20 Newton meters. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some dielectric grease around here so this doesn't stick and around here and I'll reinstall that and then we'll move to the next plug. I wanted to take a moment and show you where we're putting some dielectric grease. Not on the metal here but on this rubber boot and including all the way up to here. And on this part that goes down over the spark plug I put a little bit on the inside but not on the metal contact just on the very tip around there and I just wiped it with my small finger and then put some here and then some up here on this boot. So this will make it so it's much easier to pop on and pop off next time. So um, just a, a hint for you. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. This is my third spark plug. We'll finish with the fourth one and then we'll come back and see how it came out. Okay, so now I'll put all the wiring back and you'll see how they're all dressed nice and neat here. And everything's back in the way that it was before we took it apart. So now we'll go ahead and start it and see how it runs. All right, start it up. Sounds good. Well, thank you for watching.